this week a myth from Rapa Nui. Now everybody knows Polynesians are great singers. <clears throat> That's because the Polynesians are descendants of an oral culture. It means they were way too busy discovering the Pacific to stop and take down notes. So, history was recorded in song and chants. Now, on Rapa Nui lived a master chanter. Not master blaster, master chanter. In the village of the master lived several hot air scrumptious sisters. Not sisters as in nuns, but sisters as in Venus and Serena Williams. So every night he would serenade them with hot air songs and chants from the dark outside their folly. Now, like most of the sisters we see in the front rows of concerts these days, these sisters went off for the chances songs. They tried to invite him into the house so they could check him out properly, but he always remained outside the house in the shadows. Now after a few weeks of nagging, the chanter relented and told the sisters he would only enter if there was no light. Our oh boy, getting mysterious. The sisters all fell in love with the voice of the chanter, but couldn't stand not knowing what he looked like anymore. So one night the sisters hid the loincloth. When the chanter awoke to leave before the sun rose, he was stuck because he couldn't run out naked. He was a shy chanter. The sisters finally saw the face of the beloved chanter, and he was ugly. When the sisters saw his face, they were disgusted and spat at him, chasing him out of their house. Maybe if the chanter, like our current crop of chanters and singers, had thrown on some bling, put out some hand signs, he might have had better luck with the sisters. But alas, like many of the one-hit wonders of today, the master chanter was never heard of again. Galofai. Remember, know your roots reserves the right to make most of the stuff up. So if you're real about learning more about your culture, ask somebody. They maybe write a song about it, record it, release it, and hope for the best, like hustle it fresh. Maybe always wear sunglasses if you're too ugly. <laughs> oh, drop down and get your eagle on, uncle. Time for my favorite part of the show, Unplugged. This group is from South Auckland, Sweetness. Let the world know, know that you're my heart, and no one will tear us apart. I feel like soup. Like sand in your G-string, here's your weekly polyscope. Libra, you don't need a red bull because Libra got wings. If there's a world, there's a way, and if you're in the way, you weigh too much. Away. That is it for another week of Fresh. Check out next week for Soul Diva Erica and a whole lot of reggae muffin. See you.